Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be learning how to use an automatic polyline and its connections using the class structure successfully. And this is an outdoor coverage provisions for car park successfully being modeled. So I will show you instead of drawing polylines one by one and starts to produce its connections there is a tool that you can actually use to generate these polys all together with connections at the same time that is what you are going to learn in this video so stay tuned all right so at this point we are going to be navigating to the application and component just type in that provisions polys after which you can see the generation of polines. Select that and it properties. Okay, at first you will have the previous one I've used and saved as a polline design successfully. So if you select that, that you will use successfully. If you select standard and load, you can see the changes right there. If we go to the path can see what you have in the part you go to the joint you see what you have in the joint successfully now if you get back and change it to the one I've saved and load it you can also see the changes meaning I've done all the recipe settings on that that name so you can see in the part as well as in the joint successfully so this is the settings that you are going to be using in order for you to be able to produce that uh, polyline connections together with polyline being arranged properly at a given space. If you are in the group chat, I will send these settings to the group chat. So having loaded that, click on modify applied and OK. You can start from relay A to place it, but you must first of all pick a position point on top of the rafter. You can as well start from position E if position A is not actually giving you what you wanted. But you must start from one end. Very important. I pick a position on top of the rafter. And after which I will proceed to select the flange. The top flange, which is the top of the rafter. I've select all of the top flange. Then I will click the top of the mouse, which is the wheel of the mouse. Give it some time. After clicking the wheel of the mouse, it is going to automatically insert the polys successfully as well as the polys connections. Very modern and neat, just like this, as you can see. So this is an automatic method of generating polys and as well as its connections successfully using the class structure. If you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment sections down below. I will be sending the settings I've used here to the group chat. If you want to change the classes of the polis material, you can see it is class zero. You can select one of the polis and then choose any class. In this case, we're using class eight. So I will select that class, click on modify to have it applied successfully. Then after which I can use a match property tools to match that same classes to other polys I've inserted successfully. Click on modify to have that inserted. So you can see how this works effectively. This is how you can be able to carry out automatic polys and its connection designs using the class structure. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned if you have any question. You can drop in the comment sections as well. You can also ask your question in the group chat. There's a link in the description of this video for you to join the group chat. We stop here. See you in the next presentation.